financially they will have to hire a lawyer I will file motion after motion after and, and I'll just keep going legally after them until I break them until they can't afford to hire a lawyer anymore till they run out of money that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna break them so I'm so sorry. I ran so fast, I'm so sorry. So I just wanted to show you guys. Um, so first of all, sitting here as fast as I can run, I guess I'm a little bit, um, a little hobbled. <laughs> so these are the motions that these guys have filed against us right here. These are the motions they filed against us in the, since, I've, since they got the lawsuit, see that? and a video too. This is, this is how many motions have been filed. And this is why I'm doing a fundraiser because I have to, I have to get a, what's, I have to get, I have to get what's called an injunction. And then I also have to file a bunch of subpoenas. So I'll check, this, this is, the, <laughs> I'm fighting against a, a big company that this, that this person who I'm suing she just threw a bunch of money at them and these are the motions they filed this week against me, right here. They tried to have the case dismissed with this many motions. <laughs> yeet, 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 yeet. Who's got a yeet, 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 yeet? Get in there, yeet, yeet, yeet. Put your yeet, yeet, yeet in there now. Get in there, yeet, yeet. <laughs> but you know, on a serious note, filed um, with that uh, YouTube lawyer on there. So um, you guys do me a favor, this is a fundraiser. I have to raise 5,000 bucks. That's how much money I have to raise. Um, well, I have to raise that amount of money. And the money goes to subpoenas and for the injunction. So just so you guys know, when we file the injunction, once we get the injunction, all those videos have to come down. All those videos have to come down because it's proven defamation and that, and I get the, I get an injunction. So I want to file that injunction, but it's going to cost about two grand to file. So there it is. Five grand, all you chili sack liquors. Get your wallets out. Pony up. It's time to pay the bill for chili. Chili wined and dined, smoked weed, smeared Nutella all over everything. And now the check is due. Time for you to pay, chili sack liquors, because subpoenas have to go out now, and injunctions have to go out now. You know, there's a line from the scripture, the Bible, that book that Chili read and then rejected God because he read it. There are some real pearls of wisdom in there. Here's one of them, Chili. Who sets out to build a house without first counting the cost? knowing if he has enough funding to finish the job. You started with nothing. You thought, you thought, Chili, that you were going to bury Kate in motions, and Kate was going to have to then, having no money, because she's just a middle-aged woman housewife with a regular job. So she was going to have to go to into mediation with you and succumb to all your demands. It's not looking good for you right now, Chili, because you're about to fail at begging for $5,000 to pay your bills in an hour and a half of e-begging. You can't do it. But Kate, on the other hand, raised almost $18,000 
in 40 minutes and shut down the fund drive at that point. She probably would have raised a lot more. You know why, Chili? Because the average American does not want to see their First Amendment right to speak stomped on, dragged through the mud, and smeared with chili Nutella. So you're now going to try to force your viewers to pay your costs for your mistakes, for your hoopla shenanigans and braggadocious high-as-a-kite nonsense. Stop smoking weed, Chili. It's making you dumber than you are. You know, Merb made a great point. You got to have an 80 IQ to pass the written test for a driver's exam. So we know Chili has an 80 IQ. You also have to have an 89 IQ to join the military. Because under an 89 IQ, even though you can drive a car, the military won't take you because with an 89 IQ, they can't even have you peel potatoes without fucking it up. Is that why you got turned down for the police department in Alaska, Chile? Because your IQ is under 89? $2,000 to file an injunction, and then everything magically disappears. That's only if the injunction has merit. That's only if the judge approves your injunction. You don't just pay money, write a document, and wave a magic wand, and you get everything you want. Your injunction has to have merit. And just because you enter an injunction doesn't mean all the things you said are defamatory suddenly become defamatory. You have to prove defamation. And the things you say that Kate said, she didn't say. This is a problem with you. You don't hear what's actually being said to you. You hear what you want to hear. Then you go off, you dwell on what you think you heard, and then you massage that even further to make it say what you want it to say. IQ, under 89. They were my partners in, in what we're doing now. And so, so this is what they filed against us. So we have to be able to push back. Um, let me check, Yum. Let me check. Um, so I got, I got V. I got V like four times. And you're like, what are you doing, V? You're so sweet. Gloria, God bless you. Kyle, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, so. And then let me check Venmo one more time. Oh, that was 845. Otherwise, I'll lose track. So Cash App. Was it 845? So just between just between those two right there, just right this minute, um, we're at fifteen hundred. We're at fifteen hundred just right now on those on those kind on those just on those two apps. So now I'm going to look at Venmo, and I'll give you the running total on Venmo. And I'm not going to change the Venmo out until it's done. Until we're until we're done. I mean, not a lot of, no, I, I hardly don't ever, I don't get very many Venmos, so. So Venmo's up to 115. So I'm just, I'm just about 1600 right now. I'm gonna put Venmo here. And um, Marcy, aw, Marcy, Bitter Pat, I'm gonna put that 20 over here. <clears throat> Super chat. Thank you. Let me, thank you. Whoops, sorry about that. Um, thank you, Marcy. Thank you, Jeffrey. Whoops, sorry about that. My, my phone's on, a, on like a vice grip. It's not really on a tripod. So um, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for the, for the super chat. Um, yo, good to see you. News Now, New England. Nice to see everybody. Mikey, how are you? 
Um, what I'll do, Missly, is I will post, you know, I'm just gonna straight up, I told, I told everybody already, I, I don't, I don't wanna keep, you know, the cash, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put it into an escrow account for the for the legal fees because I want to pay the legal fees. I want more than anything. Um, I want more than anything to win this case, and that's going to require that I put the resources into winning this. I mean, I wouldn't have sued this person had they not gone too far. You know, they just went too far. You know, it, it would have been one thing if it had been, you know, satire, you're making fun of someone, oh, he's funny, but then just making up lies about my character and just for fun, thank you. So Chili wants to win this case and he's got to push back. Push back, Chili. Yeet, yeet. Push back. I hear you're good at the old pushback. So he wants to put the resources in necessary to win this case. Your resources. Not his resources. Your resources. That's what this e-bag is about. Chili started a lawsuit. And all his intelligence, all his knowledge, his 20 years of constitutional law scholarship, and he started a lawsuit without a penny in his pocket. Did he think it was all going to be free for him? Or did he think that if Kate could raise, in two outings, $40,000 with 28,000 subscribers, then his 48,000 subscribers should net him an $80,000, no problem. Uh, brace yourself, Chilito, because you're going to be pushing back real hard with just your back end to push because you ain't raising any money and while you're at it why don't you record the names of all your monetary contributors because you're threatening to sue the monetary contributors for the mass hall report which you know very well is now the uh, troll mafia official but you like to call them asshole instead of mass hall. That's harassment. That's defamation. All the things you accuse other people of doing, you do. The one thing that they can do that you can't do is what you claim to be an expert at other than in the law. You've claimed through this whole year that you're an expert in raising money. I've never seen you raise anything other than chump change. Chump change. You're an agent of chump change. You can barely raise coffee money. You don't pay rent. You don't have a car. You don't have any bills. And you don't have any money. Other people's resources is your plan to fund your nonsense after you braggadociously went and claimed in September, first week of September, 9-7, that you were going to bury them in motions, thinking that would bring them begging to the table to settle with you. Do you understand? Do you go back and listen to the things you've said in the past? Your own words cause all your problems. Are you still not getting that? Shut that yappy yours. Yeet, yeet, yeet. Deborah Rogers, who... <laughs> oh, Deborah. <laughs> oh, oh, Deborah, I don't... <laughs> I don't know if I can accept your money, Deborah. I love you, honey. I want to help you. I don't. I don't want you to help me. I want to help you. I want. I want you to fight your case. Ugh. Just so sad. So sad. Thank you. Thank you. See that right there at the end of that clip? That gulp moment. That moment when he's starting to have the flickering realization that he can't help anyone. 
and the promises to help that he made have all just been flushed down the toilet with his nonsensical lull suit, this lull cow and his lull suit and his nonsense to reinflate his ego. A pinprick. Little bit of truth. No one defamed you. The truth was told about you. This all started with you claiming you had no criminal record. No criminal record. You've tried to prove defamation in court three times now. And you've been shot down three times now. And now all those promises to help other people. Well, yeet, yeet, yeet. Because I have to raise money too. You know, she raised, you know, $30,000 or whatever. I have to raise funds too. I have no choice. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Uh, that's close to 40000 that she raised. And you do have to raise money too because there are court costs. I know you've been a constitutional scholar for two decades, 20 years, but you forgot about the cost of things. Uh-oh. And it's not that you don't have any choice. You do have a choice. Drop your stupid, soon-to-lose lull suit, you lull cow. Or keep it going, and we'll continue to milk you for laughs. You know, I have to sit here in front of, you know, I'm supposed to be raising money for Deborah. <laughs> So that little flicker gulp he had a moment ago just became a solid realization in his mind. You fucked up. You got too much shit going on, Chili. You at the legal buffet and you got a scoop of this and a scoop of that and you're looking down the row at dessert and there's five more entree selections and you just piling shit on the plate and then you get to dessert and there's pies and ice cream and you keep piling it up and now you're back at the table. And what looked in your mind like a delicious meal is now a mess of melting fucking shit. Gulp. Yeet, yeet, yeet. Oh, you fucked Deborah by promising her all that support you're never going to give. You don't have time to help her because you're tied up in your LOL suit, your lull suit. And you don't have resources to help her because you don't even have resources to help yourself. You can't help anyone in the world unless you can help yourself. And you're a pedestrian roaming around in a borrowed vehicle couch surfing with friends until you drive them crazy and they tell you to move on couch to couch to couch you got what you wanted you're in court and now you're sweating like a stuck pig myself as an adult to be bullied because there's a new kind of technology. And so you can bully people with this technology because the only way to get justice is to sue them. And the process of suing is, this many motions in a week. There you go, there you go. There you go, chill. You want, you want to sue someone? This is how many motions you'll be doing this week. Welcome to it. I'm not exaggerating, let me lay them flat. I mean, that's, so many motions this week, and a and a and a and a hard drive, and a thumb drive with video on it. That's going to be specific transcriptions from the video. 
So, yeah, you know, <laughs> help. I need somebody help, not just anybody. <laughs> you know, I need someone help. <laughs> Yeah, you need help, all right, bro. Mental help. Someone who knows Chili, I know members of his family. It's rumored that his mother has a restraining order against him. It's rumored that his sister has a restraining order against him. Those are just rumors I heard. I don't know if they're true or not. But when your family has restraining orders against you, and your friends are entertaining your delusion and shuffling you around like, you know, like you're someone they know needs to be taken care of, but they really can't dedicate their day to taking care of you. So they do it long enough to you, till you start driving them batshit fucking crazy, and then they tell you to move on. Maybe if you're lucky, they call someone ahead of time and set up a move for you to help facilitate moving on. You need help, Chili. You need a lot of help. You need mental help. You're paranoid. You're delusional. And you need help. All those motions they filed against you. Oh, those dirty lawyers. But on 9-7, on September 7th, Two months ago, you were bragging about how you were the one that was going to do this. You need help. The first and foremost help you need is somebody that you trust to tell you to shut that yap of yours. Yeet, yeet, yeet. Should I check them? Should I check them? Should I check them? Let me close, 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 close. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Cool, we're almost at $1,200 on the PayPal. Cash app's the same, Venmo's the same. Yo, Jeremy, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jeremy. I appreciate your support, man. Thank you. Thank you. So we're 14, 26, 27, 28. We're at 3,000. So we're at 3,000. So if over the next 24 hours, the people watching this, if you, we're at 3,000 right now. We're at 3,000 bucks right now. We're at $3,000 right now. Good night, Marcy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Jeremy, you are back. 3,000 after an hour and a half. And that's the end of that. Failed to meet your goal. Fail. Failed to meet your goal. How are you going to do your injunctions and your subpoenas? And you don't have the money for it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And you, in front of the judge on Monday, were talking about mediation and all that. You want to settle, Chili. Everybody knows you want to settle because you can't afford to do what you're doing. And your case has little to no merit. That's why nobody's going to mediate with you. That's why nobody wants to sit down and talk to you. Do you think, do you think that Mike Tyson would mediate the outcome of a fight before fighting Stephen Hawkins? Because that's where you're at, dude. If this were a physical fight in a cage, you'd be Stephen Hawkins and Kate would be Mike Tyson. They don't even have to punch you hard. An index finger on your shoulder will tip you over and you're done. Done. No money, no facts, no friends. 48,000 subscribers and you can't raise $5,000. You barely got past the halfway point. Barely past the halfway point. Kate shutting down fundraisers because the money's coming in too fast, too hard, too furious. Keep singing that help song, Chili. You need help. If you're a friend of Chili DeCastro, help the guy out. Don't give him money.
talk sense to him. If you're a friend of Chili DeCastro, reach out and try to talk sense into him. One of the most telling things that I heard in the court hearing on Monday, and Chili made a lot of claims after the court hearing ended that just lead me to believe that he didn't hear a word the judge said and that he's living in some kind of delusion. We'll go over that in a day or two. I got to get through the weekend for work and then we'll touch on the after court stuff. Chili through the whole court hearing was pressing for mediation. He wants to settle. He doesn't want to try this case. He wants to settle it. But his demands for settling are ridiculous. They're delusional and ludicrous. Nobody's going to settle with you, Chili. What the judge told you was that if you did enter into mediation, Massachusetts has a program to provide you a lawyer for the specific mediation process. I believe what the judge called it was lawyer for a day. And then she made a very telling remark that that lawyer would be helpful to you in finding out if there was merit and if there was value to your claim. Hint, hint. You're not getting a monetary settlement. Yeet, yeet. Chilito, stop it. Chilito, stop it.